Well, the world is a funny place because I often get accused of being a little too nice to Disney, even though with Haunted Mansion, I was pretty clear that that was not a very good film. And on certain other projects, I've been fairly disappointed, especially some of the MCU shows like Secret Invasion. But apparently I'm not being loud enough because Ahsoka 4 is... Well, it's a mess. It's a complete mess. And what was really disappointing is just how out of ideas they really are. And again, this may just be a Disney issue or a Lucasfilm issue, but wow, Filoni is just recycling the old hits. And so we got our battles. We got our lightsabers. We got an Anakin cameo. We got the old music. Fine. Uh, you can have a story without much of a plot, and this barely has any plot. Okay, that's fine. Maybe the visual style will make up for it, but there is a style here, but it's all taken and stolen from other people. I mean, we're not just taken from Lucas, we're taken from Ryan Johnson. There's a lot of Last Jedi in this, but I saw The Last Jedi. Last Jedi, fine, but we've seen The Last Jedi, but we're going to see it again. We're also going to be seeing The Force Awakens again, too. Even Rise of Skywalker, there is like almost nothing original in this episode. And that was true of the first three episodes, but those actually felt tasteful. Like, the way the first two episodes were paying homage to The Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones, that felt genuine. And even the episodes being very long and imitating the pacing of the prequels was very cute. But here it just feels like, okay, we've tried to be artistic the first couple episodes, now we're going to just cash it out. This is just unrelentingly corporate. It is pretty clearly setting up the Filoni trilogy and setting up his own ideas for Star Wars. And again, that's fine to a certain extent. Lucas had a, to put it mildly, a big ego. He was a bit of an egomaniac. But at the end of the day, he did have a story with the prequels. And he sort of had a story with the first film. Though looking back at it, the first film does not hold up. There are many things that make no sense. Even things that would give him points for are pretty weak. Nevertheless, he did have a vision. It was a stolen vision. It was stolen from Dune. Stolen from Marvel Comics, stolen from so many things, but it was a vision. There's no vision here. There is no real vision at all. It's just nostalgia. So I'm going to have to give Ahsoka a severe 6.75. It is good enough to watch, but it is far below One Piece. Even far below The Force Awakens. So that's where we are now with Star Wars. It's a little disappointing, but not, I think, unexpected from Filoni. But I was hoping that he was going to be corporate towards the end of the season. But apparently, no, we're going to be corporate early in the season. However, I'll give him one good big point. He did not steal that much from Dune itself. So that's actually very refreshing because way too much of Star Wars until lately just mercilessly takes from Dune. That was actually refreshing for a while. Very little Dune in this episode, but also very little creativity or originality.